comes as absolutely no surprise to me that Fort Lee is rising to the occasion, so we'll get through this pandemic together. Um, and there are multiple groups and a lot of people that are raising money and doing the right thing and making sure um, there are donations that are being given to worthwhile organizations to support a host of people in different categories. There are two groups that I did want to talk to you about today. Um, there's Feed the Front Line. That's a GoFundMe page which is sponsored by a group of guys that were on the same football team here in Fort Lee in 1990. They were an undefeated and unscored upon team and they've raised over $20,000 so far. And what they're doing is they're using that money to buy food and bringing it to local hospitals and to feed local health care providers. When this virus outbreak occurred, uh, we were talking and amongst each other and talking about how we could give back to the community and A, uh, help our Fort Lee businesses who are struggling at this time, as well as help our, our first responders in our hospitals who are on the front line, our, our nurses, our doctors. I can't think of a better way to give our money today to a charity that really matters to us for a better tomorrow. It's a pretty cool thing. They've already made half a dozen trips to various hospitals in the area, including Holy Name and Englewood and Hackensack. This is amazing. We really appreciate it. It's hard times for us right now. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. We're here at the iconic Fort Lee Pizzeria where they just picked up yet another big delivery. We're happy to help out and uh, we got called upon to provide food. We have uh, food for about 50, 60 people. We're doing an assortment of sandwiches. We have a bunch of pizzas and uh, we have very good pizza here, delicious pizza. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. So that's Feed the Front Line. It's a GoFundMe page and Fort Lee, if you could be supportive, that would be great. A second group that's really, really cool is sponsored by the Fort Lee PTAs. It's called FLPTAs Care. That's F-L-P-T-A-S Care. And the funds that are generated and raised by that group are devoted to provide assistance to 25 families here in the school district. Um, who receive assistance during the school week but need help to help feed their families on the weekends. The elementary school PTAs have come together to raise money to help provide for these families. We have set up a GoFundMe specifically for the purpose of providing gift cards to local grocery stores to help these families. These are just two examples of incredible initiatives that are going on in the borough of Fort Lee. There will be more. Make sure you check our website. There are other initiatives that we'll be supporting in the near future. But, you know, Fort Lee's a special place, and those are two great examples. So to our 1990 football team and to our Fort Lee PTA members, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for loving Fort Lee. Well, in Fort Lee, we believe that once a bridgeman, always a bridgeman. Uh, Fort Lee, we, we all support each other, we're all here for each other. That's part of the B Fort Lee.